badger feasting on a horse, I bet that's a first for you. You know what won't be a first though? A cat terrorizing humans. So up next, we have also called the false saber-toothed cat or terrible cat. This so-called cat prowled the ancient landscapes of Africa and Eurasia around 5 million years ago. Now, with a body weight of up to 200 pounds or 90 kilograms, a length of 5 feet or 1.5 meters, and a height of 31 inches or 80 centimeters, it wasn't the biggest of cats, but its haunting teeth more than made up for it. See, unlike today's big cats, Dinophilus stood out with its enlarged front canines, though not as large as those of true saber-toothed cats like Smilodon. These dagger-like teeth, combined with its robust body, made Dinophilus a formidable predator, capable of taking down prey much larger than itself. Its hunting style, similar to that of the modern leopard, relied on stealth and speed to ambush unsuspecting victims, including zebras and even early humans. In fact, Dinophilus's notoriety comes from its long association with hunting and eating early hominids, like Homo habilis and Australopithecus afarensis, meaning it might just have been one of the first predators to terrorize our kind. This has been proved by the Dinophilus remains found near the Paranthropus fossil skulls in South Africa, a few of which have peculiar twin holes in their skulls, matching the Dinophilus upper canine's spacing almost exactly.